I don't know what we should do. I'm I just... mean, obviously, <laughs> if you're a flat earther, you're going to be immune to quotes like, you and your reference frames have been ruined. Uh, I think it was something like, you and your, your, you and your reference frames have been ruined. When for cults claiming Earth has two reference frames and one of them is Earth turning underneath. Obviously, if you're surrounding yourself by people who are infected, which is highly likely if you're a globe head, then you're inevitably going to become infected with the same virus Dan has contracted, which would be the Coriolis virus. I'm your host, Nathan Oakley, and if you are new to this channel, excuse me, or you've not done so already, then be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and join button to keep up to date with the Flat Earth debate. To assert that Flat Earthers who don't require reference frames have had them ruined, that's going to be a bad Nothing. day for you if you're a globe head and you come in contact with these people. So intellectually distance yourself from Simon Dan. Yeah, it's, uh, I think Simon Dan's in the same category is the rumpus that categorizes super spreaders so, so it's ad hominem us talking about us weak? having no jobs so simon dan you are infecting the globe believing community with an incorrect notion that ah that would be flat earthers reference frames we don't require and don't need to make any claims about coriolis have been ruined when for cult claims two of them dan now, you are infectious. You are causing the people in your own community to be under the apprehension that reference frames you need are ruined, Dan. Um, the trampoline guy that pull him, getting pulled by the tractor, Dan, you argue that conservation of momentum is the reason why we don't see any drift, but fail to realise that the drift is necessary. So where is the drift that is required by the definition of Coriolis? Oh, there is none. Therefore, the Earth cannot be turning because we need to see drift. And we don't see drift with planes, do we, Dan? Why, Dan? You say whatever you say, Nathan. Lol. Yeah, good dog. That's correct. Whatever I say. I say you have become infectious and are infecting your own community by saying you and your reference frames are ruined and showing examples with no drift, Dan. So thanks very much for backing our argument that you and your reference frames are ruined. Does Earth turn underneath the Foucault pendulum as a second reference frame? Or are they ruined? Which is it? Are the reference frames claimed by Foucault ruined, Dan? The outbreak monkey clown show. He's being asked, given that he states, quote, you and your, your, you and your reference frames have been ruined, end quote, Simon stuttering Dan, why you're debunking Foucault? Do you not understand that Earth should turn underneath the cult pendulum in your globe head claim? Because you're saying the reference frames used by the cult are, quote, ruined, Dan. Now, that makes you infectious. You are ground zero for the Coriolis virus. And we suggest our audience, if they're globe heads, exercise intellectual distancing because you're telling them reference frames ruined. And that's what the cult is claiming, you bonehead. Does... The Earth turn under Foucault's pendulum as a second reference frame, you say, is ruined. Is Earth turning second reference frame under Foucault? Simple question. No, he's saying I got a lot of mileage out of the tweet. No one's asking you about a tweet, Dan. We're asking you about Foucault, you coward. Even from the chat, you're my bitch. So, does the Earth turn under Foucault's pendulum? Yes or no? Are the reference frames ruined, as you say? Or... Is Earth turning under the Foucault pendulum? It's a simple yes or no question. This infected clown can't answer. Yes or no, Dan? Yes, Earth turns underneath the Foucault pendulum. Second reference frame I say is ruined. Or no, you and your globe head reference frames are ruined. Which is it? LOL isn't an answer, Dan, you abject coward. You're getting teabagged from the chat. You don't even need to be here. You can't answer me, can you, coward? Yeah, little emojis rather than a yes or no answer to a direct question. Why aren't you defending your fundamentalist religious globe belief from the chat with a simple yes or no to a direct question? You abject coward. Confirmatory symptom, Nathan, isn't it? Is is uh, inability to answer uh, directly answer a simple question. Let's ask it again. 
Does Earth turn under for cult pendulum underneath as a second reference frame, Dan? That's like the compounded toxicity that comes with the Coriolis virus because that's what it happens. So they get del- like a delirium and they are no longer able to answer straightforward questions, symptoms of the Coriolis virus once you really get the infection deeply in the a good case there, Arwen, of, of clinical symptoms which will confirm diagnosis. Hold on. Anyway, I'm off. Have a great day, guys. So you're not going to answer a direct question that is a globe claim. Are you so moronic that you don't understand that you've ruined your own reference frames that are claimed by for cult, Dan? Don't want to address that? Just going to toddle away like an abject coward having not answered? Yeah, Dan, I own you. I'm rent-free in your head, mate. Well, you tell me that you're going to toddle off and have a good day. I doubt it, given you haven't answered a direct question, that you and your reference frames are ruined and for cult's been claiming them. Sorry, did I ask you a question, Dan? Yeah, I absolutely did. I asked you about your reference frames claimed by for cult that you say are ruined. That's going to be pretty troubling. I'd run away quick sharp without answering a simple yes or no question about whether or not the second reference frame for cult is claiming rotates underneath to cause drift. Given that you and your reference frames are ruined, I'd run away too, you abject coward. If he can't answer the question because he's in a contradiction. If he answers it one way, he's screwed. If he answers it the other way, he's screwed. Yeah, pick your poison, Dan. What's wrong with you? Didn't catch it. Apologies. What's the question? Your sarcasm isn't going over. I'll just repeat it. So my audience appreciates that it's still not been answered despite your asking for clarity. The question is, does Earth turn underneath the Foucault pendulum as a second reference frame. Yes or no. Then I'll go on to quote, you and your reference frames are ruined if you say yes, given that you're under the misapprehension I've got reference frames to debunk when Foucault is claiming them on the side of the globe and you're debunking them, you abject moron. He's never going to answer. He's a coward. Dan's getting owned from a flat earther's chat. He knows he's cornered. See if he asks us again if he can have the question again. Or maybe he'll tell us he's going to toddle off or say he's here for the lols. He's got a very limited repertoire of responses. I'd said words to the effect of, my claim that Earth is turning underneath at 15 degrees an hour is debunked, which is what you've done. I'd be utterly embarrassed. But you're more concerned about your interactions with Twitter and here for the lols rather than asking a direct flat Earth question that you can't answer about your reference frames you tweeted me about. Sorry, internet went. Can you repeat it? You're an abject coward, Dan. You've heard it. Why are you stating for cults reference frames are debunked, Dan? Why are you debunking your own claim that requires two reference frames, Dan? How many times do you need the same question beating into you, Dan? Are you so pathetic that you've got a poor internet connection with all your YouTube money? What's going on? incompetent and incapable of accepting that you've debunked your own claim of Earth turning underneath at 15 degrees an hour. Yet, what claim? The claim that for cult makes Earth turning underneath second reference frame? Quote, Simon Dan, you and your you and your reference frames are ruined. I don't have any. For cult does. So you think Earth and atmosphere travel together, right? Dan, no drift. You gave us an example with a man pulling, uh, a man being pulled by a tractor whilst trampolining and not drifting. And you told me the reference frames used by Foucault to claim drift at 15 degrees an hour as Earth turns underneath are ruined, Dan. That's you telling your own side how ruined your claim is. Maybe you need it again. Maybe your internet connection went bad. Maybe you're an abject coward getting teabagged repeatedly. Stick around, my friend. Notice how it's all gone silent. Everyone just wants to listen to me teabagging you repeatedly, asking you one question about you and your reference frames you have ruined. So desperately trying to flap around and change the question onto an ad hominem against Anthony, talking to me, Dan, talking to me about you and your reference frames claimed by for cult with a 15 degrees an hour drift you've debunked. Yeah, you're now a virus monkey. You're ground zero for this problem for the globe. Yeah, you are the Coriolis virus, Dan. Not answering the question, guys. This is literally what he's got to do because he knows that no matter which way he answers it, he's knackered. We need to take the man out of Simon and Dan because you definitely are not the man. Ask Dan. Does Earth turn underneath the Foucault pendulum? Because I've got rumpus over a barrel because of you on this, Dan, with him stuttering and stammering about not being able to say yes. Just like you. <laughs> In the...
Nick in the with a big stutter for me. And you're the cause of his problems. You've infected him, mate. What do you mean by spin? I don't, Dan. Are you now becoming so stupid that you don't realise that you have a claim Earth spins? You dumb idiot. Are you really this stupid, Dan? We don't claim spin. What do I mean by spin? I don't. You do, idiot with a spin claim that you've debunked by saying you and your reference frames are ruined. That would be your spin, Dan. Not what do I mean? I don't. You do. You debunked it with your quote by a Twitter. Yeah, I'm going to call it the new normal reversal, which is a standard baller thing they've all got as to getting us to explain their claim. Um, That's no problem. I've got his claim on screen. There we go. So it says that Earth is turning beneath it. That's the second reference frame. So we have a turning reference frame and a swinging reference frame. That's two. This is a globe claim. It's a claim that Foucault makes that Simon Dan has debunked. Because according to Simon Dan, quote, you and your you and your reference frames have been ruined. Uh, I think it was something like you and your you and your reference frames have been ruined. Now so, we don't have any. Foucault is claiming two of them to prove Earth spins. And when I ask Dan, does Earth rotate under Foucault pendulum, either he's so stupid he doesn't know the answer, or, as we're correctly asserting, he's been infected, or is Ground Zero the infected monkey, for the Coriolis virus. He's not saying, yes, see. this is your claim, Globers. Earth turns beneath it. That's what Coriolis is supposed to be demonstrable by way of Foucault's pendulum. Second reference frame turning underneath the pendulum. And when I asked Dan, is Earth turning underneath the pendulum? What? He needs five repetitions, six repetitions of the question. His internet's got trouble. Can't give a straight answer. That says it all. This is your most subscribed to Globe Defender, anti-flat earther. And he can't even say yes when asked if Earth turns beneath the pendulum. Can't even answer me. Why? Well, because Earth isn't turning beneath anything. If there was a Earth second reference frame turning beneath the pendulum, then Earth would be turning underneath stuff, and that would shorten flights when travelling west. NDT is the man to ask. Well, you definitely aren't. NDT's claiming two reference frames, Simon Dan. Earth turning beneath a football? Shall I go and tell him from you that you and your reference frames, that would be NDT's reference frames, are ruined? Because you're pissing in the face of NDT's claim that there's two reference frames, Dan. Quote, Simon, Dan, you and your reference frames are ruined. Right? That's not my reference frames. That's Neil deGrasse Tyson's reference frames, Dan. And for Colt's reference frames, Dan. And when I ask you if Earth's turning beneath this shit, you say I've got internet problems like a complete bitch. Well, by pointing at the other guy, he's basically admitting to his ignorance about it. This is your guru, Globeheads. This is your man. This is Simon Dan. He's getting absolutely annihilated with one question, specifically about a claim you make on the Globe side, and he can't confirm or deny. Just obfuscate. He told me to tell you to speak to him, did he, Dan? Got a direct bat line. What? Did you tell him his reference frames had been ruined, Dan? Maybe you can answer that. Because so far you haven't answered a single question from the chat. Other than to defer to your authority, I hope people who are subscribed to Dan see him as the pathetic man he is at this point. Refer to authority, Ooh. eh, Dan? I thought you were the authority. you got a channel on this stuff. You can't even answer a flat earther's questions. Sad. Pathetic. I think he's demoted himself to basically messenger runner because he just said he told me to tell you to speak to him so he's basically <laughs> given enough conversation and he's now just a message runner so, for other so he's a carrier pigeon too now <laughs> uh, it's already caused virus to get infected uh because he's saying that he's playing dumb for our sake so he's 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 got the virus he needs to sort oh. of oh. Nathan, can, can we play role play? I'll play Simon Dan. Ask me the question and I'll give you the answer. Does Earth turn underneath the Foucault pendulum to prove we have a second reference frame turning at 15 degrees an hour? Yes, of course it does, Nathan. We, we reproduce this in universities all over the world, thousands of times a year. You and your reference frames are ruined, Dan. Oh, that was a short conversation. 
This is pathetic, man. Seriously. <laughs> like, if I was a globe, I'd be laughing at you hard right now. It's ridiculous. Don't just read, just read our Red Pills uh, comment. At Simon Dan, quote, refer to authority, a.k.a. I'm too dumb to understand. I just regurgitate. Yeah, he's basically saying, he's disclaiming his level of bitch in our comment section. I'm just NDT's bitch. He's told me what to say and I'm saying it. Him and I are really tight. No, you're claiming you're his bitch and you don't even understand his rhetoric. He's got two reference frames and Earth turning underneath a football. You're telling flat earthers that their reference frames they don't claim are ruined, Dan. And the only one with claims of reference frames turning underneath stuff is you and Neil deGrasse Tyson <laughs> while you simultaneously debunk them, you idiot. It's a tough subject, is it, Dan? Yeah, you're damn right it is if you're a complete mong, which you are. You haven't got the vaguest clue. Otherwise, you wouldn't be going around debunking reference frames, you abject moron. It's tough for him because he can't respond. Do you not get that, Dan? The audience gets it, Chocolate. That's for damn sure. The audience can recognise that he's been asked re repeatedly to answer a question that he's not answering. We've already got a quote from him on the subject, so he seemed to feel at one stage that he was somehow an expert on this stuff, so much so he could contradict a flat earther with his tweet saying you and your reference frames are ruined. Well, if my reference frames I don't use are ruined, and Facult uses them, two of them, to claim Earth's turning underneath and as 15 degrees an hour drift occurs, why would it be the case that Dan simply can't answer that? Does Earth turn underneath the pendulum, Dan? No, no answer. Internet problems. Lots of distractions. Asking about whether or not Anthony can identify the correct for cult. Rather than answering a simple question about you and your reference frames that you say are ruined, Dan. How many times have you got to be asked, you abject coward? <coughs> You're in chat now. This is live, Dan. You just need to say yes in line with Neil deGrasse Tyson so we can pummel your claim that Earth turns underneath at 15 degrees an hour, because that would shorten flight times. You'd launch a drone on the equator and Earth would turn underneath it at 15 degrees an hour, meaning it would whiz away as you spun underneath it at 1,000 miles an hour. You'd have a flight from Charlotte to LA taking one and a half hours instead of four because Earth would be turning underneath the plane at 15 degrees an hour. You'd have hot air balloons launching in the air and Earth turning underneath them at 15 degrees an hour and they'd land in a different country. Now, obviously, Dan is disclaiming that he needs to research this a bit more because he's an abject moron. He hasn't got the vaguest clue what Coriolis is. When he tweeted me, he didn't have the slightest idea what he was doing. And the net result of that is he's debunked his own side's claim.